Well, thanks for joining me today folks uh, another wild camp today uh, I'm on another Iron Age hill fort in the South Downs uh, I've got here fairly late because this isn't an area where you can uh, hide out the way particularly um, it's a bit difficult to be stealthy um, but the there is a reason for me picking this particular spot there's no trees around here at all and there's a 360 degree horizon that means that um, might be a bit windy uh, but it's not too bad today uh, home in Crawley it was 24 25 degrees when I left and it's probably still up here on this hill 17 or 18 degrees with a gentle breeze so uh, I hope you enjoy this video um, there is a specific point to it that I'll come on to a little bit later as you can see 360 degrees with absolutely nothing blocking my view. Well, while my, my dinner's cooking, which is some um, spicy sausage by the way, which I'm, I'm looking forward to that spicy sausage and pasta, uh, I'll tell you why I'm here. Uh, at the moment, there is a, a naked eye comet in the sky which uh, if you're an astro nerd like me is a really exciting event um, last time anything like this happened was a quarter of a century ago so um, these things only happen a couple of times in in people's lifetimes uh, this particular one is visible to the north uh, it's really really low that's the the difficulty that I have with it from home um, it's only about 10 degrees above the horizon which typically is um, like a fist held out like that at arm's length. Uh, if you put that against the horizon, that's how, how high up this comet is. So basically come to a hill with absolutely nothing uh, getting in the way in the hope to try and get a photograph of this comet. Uh, it needs no cloud. and At the moment, it's not too bad at all. And looking north, there isn't any. Um, it's visible between something like midnight and 3am, so it will be a bit of a late night for me. Uh, I'll probably also have a little go at trying to get some uh, Milky Way shots in the uh, south. I'm just being buzzed by all sorts of insects here. I don't know what they are, but they're um, finding me particularly attractive. Um, so yeah, we'll see how I get on. I'm going to have some dinner first of all. It's now 20 past 9, I'm blinking starving had a full day at work before coming here so um, yeah I'm pretty knackered and could do without sitting up till 3am but with a bit of luck I'll get a shot at around 12 o'clock and be able to turn in because it's a bit exposed here I'm probably gonna have to be up and away dead early um, don't want any dog walkers finding me or anything like that and the sooner it gets dark the better really but I'll um, pick up with you a bit later on and we'll see how we get on looking for comments Well, it's now about quarter to twelve and uh, I'm back in my tent. I'm very happy with the results of this evening. I uh, managed to get some photos of the comet 
and see it visually and through a pair of binoculars. Uh, I think you could probably spot it well from the, with the naked eye. Once you know where you're looking, it's fairly easy to see it. But from a um, light polluted area like a town, it might be a little bit difficult. Uh, but anyway, there'll be a photo of that comet stuck on the end of this video. I uh, also took some photographs of the Milky Way. Uh, so I was quite pleased about that as well and I'll attach those on also so um, yeah didn't have to sit up till three o'clock I thought I'd be on my own on this hilltop in fact there was uh, a couple of small groups of people here uh, basically drinking on the side of the hill until about 11 o'clock and then they gave up and um, went home so that will serve me right for coming on a Friday night I think that probably wasn't a great idea but I think I'm on my own now uh, which is nice you can possibly hear the wind blowing on the, the tent it is an exposed spot because it's a um, standalone hill basically you know, with nothing to stop the wind so I think it would be interesting to see how much wind I get overnight uh, whether it keeps me awake or not but anyway I'm quite happy with what I've uh, managed to get so uh, yeah good old trip thanks very much I shall um, See you again another time. Cheerio.